hello today we'll see about user and kernel level thread see this topic this user level and kernel level thread is very important for git and it is um, totally theory so we have to means remind it we have to remember it we have to learn it so so let's begin see the points i have written here see it is very very important from this point only you please you take down the note because from this point only previous year gate questions has been asked so let's begin see user level thread see user level thread have have its own scheduling algorithm user level thread have its own scheduling algorithm what does it mean it means that in user level thread they they are using their own algorithm they does not depend on other algorithm they are using their own algorithm then see enter process is loaded on user space means the whole process if this is a process if this is a process this whole process is loaded in user space only it does not means the process is not divided or it's not means the half of half part of the process not taken the full process is depend on user space not depend on kernel space is depend on user space see user level thread can run on any operating system the third point is user level thread can run on any operating system means they can run on any os for example you can say on windows also can run can run on any operating system os for example ubuntu windows windows they can run they can run also in linux also so means they are means user friendly means they are friendly with os operating system they can run on any operating system these are the advantages of user level thread so these points are very very important you remember it you learn it by heart now you will see what are the disadvantages of user level thread means what are the demerits of user level thread see user level thread executes system call and all the thread in the process are blocked see user level thread executes system call and all the thread in the process are blocked means when user level means when the system administ administrator or when a system call is given, given then it block all the thread means within a process if there it is a process and one thread is blocked then all the thread in the, then in all the process all the thread will be blocked means it's a disadvantage of a user level thread means if one thread is blocked then all the thread in other process will be blocked only a single thread can execute at a time means only a single thread can execute exe execute at a time it's not a multi threading means user level thread does not use multi threading user level in this line this statement means user level does not use multi threading means only only a single thread can execute at a time so this is about user level about user level thread see it is very important for git this means it's a it's all about theory and it is very important for computer science students now we'll see the kernel level thread we have seen user level now we'll see kernel level thread so what are the advantage of kernel level thread if a thread is blocked then kernel can schedule another thread to the process in user level we have seen that if a thread is blocked then whole means all the thread within the process within the process will be blocked means if a thread is blocked then all the process within a thread if a one thread is blocked and only thread with other process will be blocked this is a dis disadvantage of user level but in kernel level if a thread is blocked then kernel can schedule another thread to the process means if one thread is blocked then kernel will schedule an another thread to this process this means 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 it is powerful than user level thread you can see it is more means it is better than user level thread then kernel uses multi threading see we have seen user level thread it is it is not using multi threading it execute I mean, single thread can execute at a time but in kernel level thread it uses multi threading so is advantage of kernel level thread now we'll see the disadvantage of kernel level thread see more cost for creating and destroying thread in the kernel see this is the disadvantage more cost for creating and destroying the threads in the kernel means if you want to destroy means if there if there's a, in the process if there's one thread but and it's in kernel level see means how can we determine means distinguish between user level and kernel level see user level thread always lies in the upper portion and kernel level thread always lies in the lower portion 
I repeat user level thread always lies in the upper portion kernel level thread always lies in the lower portion so see means more cost for creating and destroying thread in the kernel means more cost means when you, means when if you want to destroy one thread then it is because means it is very means you can see it requires more cost to mean to create a and destroy thread in the kernel so it is so it is a it is a disadvantage of a kernel level thread so another important point for gate is see it is very important so you, you take the note so these points are very important and it's all about theory so you have to remember it by heart you have to learn it see the see write this important note see kernel level thread is uh, kernel level thread kernel level thread so i'm writing you also right kernel level thread kernel level thread context switching time is slow context switching time is slow see kernel level thread context switching cs means context switching i have um, told you the meaning of context switching in earlier videos see kernel level thread context switching time is slow and what will be in user level user level thread user level thread context switching time is fast user level thread context switching time is fast this is very very important point because in, in i have seen some gate computer science cse it paper they have asked um, some questions on these two statements only so kernel level thread context switching time is slow and user level thread context switching time is fast so this is about threading see in next video we will see about some gate question on user level and kernel level thread so thank you for watching